Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to September's Top 10 Tech Tips. We are here for 30 minutes, so let's get cracking. Let me share my screen. All right, little housekeeping to kick off with. As I mentioned, we are here for 30 minutes. This is not a deep dive into each of the tools. This is a really quick overview on 10 things that I have been reading about, playing with, watching, uh, have come into my sphere of knowledge over the last kind of month or so. Uh, so it's really just to give you the highlights. So take some notes. If there's something that amuses you, please write it down and you can go and research it more in your own time. You will be getting a copy of the recording, so keep an eye in your inbox for that over the next couple of days. Uh, but really, as I said, high level. Now, I know we have quite a number of new people to the top 10 tech tips, so welcome for those of you who don't know me very well yet. My name is Tracy Sheen. I am known as The Digital Guide. Uh, I am the author of The End of Technophobia, which was Australia's Business Book of the Year for 2021 and also Best Technology Book. Uh, I am a speaker, a presenter, a media commentator. Uh, I've been acknowledged by Inside Small Business as one of the top 50 small business leaders for 2021. I've worked with companies like the Australian Domain Authority, with Windows, uh, with Koshy's Business Builders. I'm a regular tech commentator for David Kosh and the team. And I'm also classified as a certified practicing marketer by the Australian Marketing Institute. Most recently, I've picked up a role as the Entrepreneurship Facilitator, which is a government uh, funded project. So I'm working uh, throughout Queensland across Ipswich, Lockyer Valley, Somerset and Scenic Rim. So I'm loving getting around, meeting people and doing a lot more speaking. Okay, without further ado, these are in no particular order, but please do make a note of any that amuse you and you can go and check them out a little more thoroughly in your own time. So the first one I want to talk to you about is Google Lens. Now, I uh, came across, this has been out for a while, but it's recently been added as something that you can easily do from your iPhone or your Android device. So the other day, uh, we've got an orchid growing in front of our house. And I was like, well, it's really pretty, but I have no idea what it is. So we took a quick photo of, of the orchid and searched it through Google Lens and it came up to let me know that it was a rock orchid. So there you go. So if you take a photo of a tree, works really well with plants, animals, that type of thing, and run it through Google Lens, it will search a database and give you up information related to the particular image. Not great on uh, people, I have to say. So we ran a uh, an image check on a few different group photos and individual photos that I've taken over the time. Yeah, not great. But when it comes to plants, animals, that type of thing, really, really handy. And it's a nice little uh, click that you can do directly from your iPhone or your Android. You can also download it to your desktop so you have it sitting there as well. All right, the next one is called Subly. Now, um, a lot of the clients that I work with uh, often say to me that they, you know, have no way of tracking what their subscriptions are or what they're paying for in terms of software. And it can get a little bit unruly. So we often talk about, you know, logging into your bank account once a quarter and kind of going back through and seeing what you're paying for, making sure that you're staying on top of subscriptions, etc. But this app is designed to do that for you. So as it says, it's a subscription management tool. Uh, and what happens is it will build a report of the subscriptions and the recurring payments that you have coming out. It's got built-in alarms, so it'll tell you when something's coming up for renewal um, and gets really good reviews. I've not downloaded it and played with this myself, but interesting reading the other day around this. So if subscriptions are something that, you know, I remember going through one with a client 
only a couple of months ago, actually, and we saved them around $5,000 a year uh, just by kind of having a look at, you know, what's that subscription and do you really use it? And, you know, being able to kind of cancel out of a number of the subscriptions that they had on their bank account. So rather than you having to go back through your account every month or every quarter, then this is something that you might want to consider subly, S-U-B-L-Y, subscription and recurring payment tracker. The next one is task aid. So still one of the most popular questions I get from people when I'm running workshops or chatting to them is, you know, what's the best way to track tasks? How do I manage my team? What does that look like in terms of project management overviews and things? There's a bunch of applications out there. There's a bunch of software that you can use ranging everywhere from, you know, zero cost freemium models through to hundreds or thousands of dollars per month. But TaskAid is one that I've come across just in the last month. So if managing tasks and managing your team and things is something that's been high on your radar, then TaskAid may be one that you want to check out a little bit more thoroughly. So as it says, it breaks your projects down into smaller tasks. You can track them all on the one workspace. You can set dependencies. You can assign them to people. You can share to-do lists. You can organize your notes. You can even invite uh, external parties to collaborate on projects or folders or workspaces. So if you wanted to share, say, a client folder with your client and then have all of the tasks and things broken down in there, you can do that. Uh, you, a little bit like Google Docs, you can control the level of access people have to things. So they can have view only, check documents, edit documents, etc. It's got hundreds of templates built in. So I think a little over 150, uh, maybe a little more around templates of, you know, project management or to-do lists and things like that. And it syncs really, really easily with Google or iCloud calendars. Couldn't see a lot of detail in there around syncing with Microsoft. So if you're a Microsoft Outlook or Exchange user, um, might want to research a little bit more thoroughly, but it will sync really easily with Google or iCloud. So you can add your tasks across your calendar and things really, really easily. So I know to-do lists and tasks is always one that's really popular with people. All right, the next one is screen to video. So we've got a few that we're going to talk to today about uh, videos and screen built applications. So video is still a really hot topic. Uh, we know that all our social media platforms really like organic video. It's a great way to increase your community and build your authority on various platforms. So this one is an alternative to Loom. Now I use Loom a lot, uh, particularly if I am uh, onboarding a client or if I have some feedback to give a, a, a contractor about, say, a website update or something like that, I'll record a quick screen video of like, hey, can you do this? Can you move here? Can you change that? I don't like the font, you know, whatever those things are. It's often easier to just record a video and walk somebody through what you're seeing and thinking rather than trying to type it all out in an email. So screen to video is an alternative to Loom. allows you to screenshot videos of your desktop. Uh, you can record pieces to camera. You can share your videos. You can add uh, virtual backgrounds. You can even turn your screen into a whiteboard. So really handy little tool. And it is on AppSumo. We've talked about AppSumo plenty of times before. If you're not familiar with what AppSumo is, Google it, A-P-P-S-U-M-O. It's an application uh, website where a bunch of people will upload their offerings cheap. Um, I got Loom really cheap through AppSumo um, and you can check it out. So this one's going as an AppSumo deal at the moment and worth checking out if you're looking for a way to be able to easily communicate with contractors or clients, etc. The next one is radar. Another really popular topic that always comes up with me is how do you schedule social media content? What's the best way? Is there an all-in-one platform? What does that look like? So radar is one that's come across my radar in the last kind of month and a bit. Uh, it is designed to handle multiple social media platforms. So it'll do everything from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, and Google Business Profile, which you may 
uh, no was formerly Google My Business. They've had a change. Um, there's an inbuilt scheduler. You've got a social media inbox. It'll monitor. It'll give you analytics. You can have a password manager built in. There's a stock library. You can shorten your URLs to share on socials. Really nice little all-in-one platform. And remember, there was concern uh, a few years ago now around Facebook limiting your posts if you were using a third-party scheduling tool. That is not the case. You do not need to use Facebook Business Manager to schedule your Facebook or Instagram content. You can put everything through the one platform and there is no um, hindrances to you to do that. So if you're looking for one, a one platform to rule them all, then Radar might be something that you would like to check out. Okay, next one. Let me take a bit of a breather here. It's called Spy Lead. Um, now, it's an email finder. And again, another hot topic uh, people will often say, you know, I need to reach out to such and such or I want to do a cold uh, email campaign to some corporates and let them know about what I'm doing and having a chat What's the best way to find their emails? Well, you can, you know, make a bunch of phone calls through to head offices and find their names and ask for email addresses and that will work. Or you can use a platform like SpyLead. Now, what it does uh, is it connects in with or utilizes LinkedIn and it will work with Sales Navigator as well as the free version. So it doesn't matter if you're only on the free version of LinkedIn. Um, it also works with Google Maps and it's a data scraper. So providing you have a first name um, or a domain. So for example, if we're in Australia and I wanted to connect with someone at say Telstra or Westpac or um, Optus is probably pretty easy to find right now that's a bad pun I shouldn't have put that in um, and then as long as you have one point of information, you can obtain emails. And it says it runs at around 99% accuracy. I have not played with this one myself. There are a few versions of this style of thing out now. But if you are looking for a way to build a list of potential outreach and points of contact, then Spy Lead may be something that you want to check out a little more yourself. It'll also integrate with Zapier, so you can use it to zap straight in to a CRM or, um, you know, to send off an email campaign, et cetera. So if that's something, if you've been wondering how do you find people's email addresses, how do you reach out, how do you do all of that kind of stuff, what's the best way to do it, then spy lead might be something that you want to consider. The next one is Vumu. Now, this is another one of the video ones that I was saying that is a popular theme for this month. Now, video Vumo will allow you to create videos for outreach campaigns. So again, if you want to um, go out to a community, so let's say you want to create a service or a product that you're ready to launch, you might create a landing page that has a video inbuilt that will take people through a funnel or through a series of steps, then Vumu is something worth having a look at. You can record, edit and share personalized video messages so they could be one-to-one -one or they could be to a community. So, hey, thanks so much for checking out the Small Business Tech Club. You know, if you want more information, keep watching this video and I'm going to walk you through it as an example. From there, you can create personalized landing pages off the back of the video. It's all very easy, drag and drop and a few clicks to get things done. You can add your branding, you can add captions, and you can add individualized call to action. So, for example, um, if I wanted to reach out to people in New South Wales and say, hey, I'm doing a workshop series in Sydney. I could have that message go out on a particular landing page or say Western Downs of Queensland. Hey, guys, I'm coming out in such and such a date. You know, I can separate those messages and make sure that they're really personalised and they're hitting the particular audiences that I am interested in talking to. So if videos and landing pages and outreach campaigns are something that has been, you know, spinning around your head for a while, then Vumu is one that you are going to want to have a bit more of a look at. All right, next on the list is Flex. 
clip. Again, another one of the video ones that we've been talking about. This one is really, really awesome for creating really quick marketing videos. So if you have longer form videos or you've got a series of, say, images that you want to create into a slideshow or you want to maybe even in your personal life and your family life, you've got some family movies that you want to, you know, chop down and, and turn into different kinds of assets then flex clip is something that you're going to want to take a look at you can cut a clip from a video you can add text and voice recording so i can overlay a video with um you know a voiceover about hey we were, you know this is when we we're going here this is what was going on that type of thing it's got a bunch of templates from everything from business through to lifestyle so depending on what it is that you're looking to create and you can add things like overlays intros outros other elements animations etc so if upping your video game on social media or YouTube or for emails, or landing pages, that type of thing has been something that's been on your radar for a while, then Flex Clip is one that you're going to want to check out. I have a number of clients who get longer form videos created, so maybe two, three, five minutes from their videographer, but that's way too long to put out on socials, right? So using something like Flex Clip, you can chop it down into a 30, 60 second, something that you could easily put out on your Facebook or your Instagram, your LinkedIn, that type of thing, and get better reach and create engagement with your community. So Flex Clip, definitely one I think we should all be checking out and kind of thinking about how we could be building that into our business a little more. All right, getting to the pointy end, this is the penultimate one, studio growth. So studio growth will allow you to create and manage multiple schedules. Now, I use a schedule booking page called Book Like a Boss. A lot of my clients use Calendly or Acuity. Um, there's a variety of them out there. But one of the things that none of them do very well is if you have uh, multiple schedules that you try to manage. So let's say, for example, you need to book a meeting with a sales team or you want marketing and sales to be on it or you want ops and marketing or whatever that looks like for you, then often you're still trying to juggle a bunch of calendars to find a time and a day that suits. So studio growth will allow you to create those multiple, um, create booking pages, sorry, with multiple schedules attached to them. So everybody connects their calendar. It then synchronizes and goes, okay, if we need everybody on the call, these are the days and times that are available. And a wait list. So if you have people booked in, but somebody wants that time slot, you can create a wait list. So if you were, uh, you know, hoping to be able to pre-schedule a time, you can do that type of thing. Uh, you can offer on-demand scheduling based on a availability. So again, if somebody's away on a Tuesday, you know, you can just shut that down and make that really easy for people. It integrates directly with Zoom. So it will create a Zoom link for you immediately that will schedule everybody on the call. Um, and what I love is that each of the individual team members can adjust their own schedule and availability, and that will tweak the calendar to show automatic availabilities across the group of people that you're trying to schedule. So it's a really cool tool and there's a lot of use there for that type of thing. We get um, a lot of commentary from people that, you know, need to get multiple people on the call and that is a really handy app to take a look at. All right, the final one before we go back through them quickly is Switchy. Now, Switchy is a really cool little app. I've been playing around with this and I really like what it has to offer. It allows you to create custom retargeting links. So think of something like a bit.ly where you're creating a shortened link, but you can see the data off the back end, how many people have clicked on it, you know, where they've come from, all that type of thing. This will allow you to go a little bit further. So yes, you can edit the uh, the link the title, um, you can change the domain, you can change the description, you can add images, but you can also add retargeting pixels, which is a big one. So if you want to run a Facebook ad campaign or a Google ad campaign or something off the back, you can put in tags, geo redirects and things like that, which is really kind of cool. Um, and I've not seen another platform like this that has 
all of these features built into the one thing. There is over 150 read, uh, integrated platforms, things like your CRMs um, that are pre-built in and you can create some branded smart pages off the back of it. So really, um, you know, think about the different ways that you could be using this in your business. And I think you'd find that there is a really neat little availability or, or kind of uh, niche around that particular uh, aspect of Switchy. So definitely one to um, just have a bit of a read of and kind of let it percolate, I guess, and like, well, how would I use that? What would that look like? All right, that's the top 10 for this month. Let's go back through it again just to kind of refresh your memory and you can take notes now of the one or the ones that you want to check out for the next month. So we started with Google Lens. So you can download this now. It's it's on your iPhone. It's on your Android. You can also download it to your desktop. It allows you to take a photo of, say, it works really well, as I said, with plants and animals, and then it will bring up information regarding that particular image. Uh, you can translate text. So if... Um, say something comes through in, a, in an alternate language, you can translate the text really easily. Um, just doesn't work great on people. But like I said, you know, we were trying to find the name of an orchid the other day, really, really quick and easy for it to come up with that information. And, you know, that years ago would have taken forever to kind of go through gardening books trying to figure that out. So really cool little functionality there. Subly, Subly was the one that we talked about that would track your subscription and recurring payments. So uh, if you have a bunch of subscriptions, and let's face it, who doesn't these days, then you can run Subly across the top and it will gather all of that information together for you. It'll tell you when things are due for renewal. It'll tell you what you've been paying. You can set alarms to say, I don't want to pay anymore. So let me know, you know, a month out, a week out, a fortnight out, depending on what your cancellation policy is with particular platforms and it will let you um, you know just keep track of where your money is going you can run reports you can do a whole lot of different stuff with it but a really cool little app that I think all of us who use um, software as a service in our business should be running something like this the next one was task aid so this one is my uh, monthly kind of check-in for those that are looking for something that will manage their tasks, their to-do list, uh, help their team coordinate better. Uh, it's a team-friendly platform, essentially, that allows you to create notes, to-do lists, tasks, task dependencies, connects in with Google and iCloud. You can add people to have visibility over, you know, just check a document, edit a document, view a document, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, and there's hundreds of inbuilt templates there that allow you to create what you need with task aid. Then we talked about screen to video. So screen to video is the alternative to Loom. So really easy way for you to just get a screencast and talk somebody through what's going on on your screen. You can record voice system sounds, et cetera. So if there's something weird going on, you can capture all of that. You can um, add virtual backgrounds. You can turn it into a whiteboard. So it does a lot more than just, you know, record a copy of your screen. Um, but if you've been looking for something that will allow you that functionality and then screen to video might be one that you want to check out. Radar was our social media scheduling platform. So this is the all-in-one platform that handles everything from Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, Google Business Profile, kind of does everything that we would need on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it has inbuilt monitoring. It has inbuilt um, analytics. It allows you to share passwords. It's got an inbuilt stock library of copyright free images, has a URL shortener, um, and of course the inbuilt scheduler as well. So if you've been looking for one platform to rule them all, then Radar might be one that you want to check out this month. The next one was Spy Lead. So this is the one that will allow you to find people's emails with, as they claim, 99% accuracy. Uh, so again, it'll scrape data from websites, from LinkedIn, from Google Maps, um, you know, a variety of places and allow you to find um, emails from like either a first name, a last name or a domain. So if you want to do any kind of outreach and you have a dream client list, Spylead might be one that you want to have a look at this month. The next one was Vumu. 
And Vumu is the one that will allow you to create videos for outreach campaigns. So you can create landing pages with individual call to actions. You can share your videos via email, socials, URL. It'll allow you to record, edit, and share personalized video messages. So really nice little video platform there to help you create some marketing funnels that you may want to use on advertising or just on your social media platforms. The next one was Flex Clip. I'm getting tongue tied now. Flex Clip is around creating marketing videos. So whether that's for your socials, whether you've got longer videos that you want to chop down into social friendly content, you can add um, animations, intros, outros. You can add elements. You can add voice recordings. You can add text. Gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of functionality in there for just creating quick and easy to use marketing videos for your business. It can even be slideshows. So if you wanted to create a carousel for a Facebook ad or for a Google ad, for example, you could do all of that in FlexClip really, really easily. The penultimate one we talked about this month was Studio Growth, and that's the one that allows you to manage team schedules. So again, really, really handy if you're looking to connect with a group of people or a client needs to book, a, say, an onboarding session with you know, two or three people, or you're having a marketing discussion or whatever that looks like. So this is a platform that will allow you to handle multiple calendars and create that single source of truth for booking a group of people integrates directly with Zoom. So it will create the Zoom link for you off the back um, and allows you to manage, the team can manage their own schedules and set their own pace of when they're available, etc. So nice little tool for that. I have been joined by Watson the Cat. So if you can see that, welcome Watson. And the last one for the month is Switchy. So Switchy is the one that will allow us to create customized retargeting links. Thank you, Watson. Um, you can edit your link title, your domain, your description, your images. You can also add retargeting pixels, tags, and geo redirects. So that's a really nice feature. I haven't seen all of this functionality on a app like this before. Has over 150 integrated platforms, things like your CRMs that we talked about, and allows you to create branded smart pages, landing pages off the back. So I think this one's a really, really neat little tool, and I can see lots of uses for probably most of the businesses that I work with, most of the clients that I work with. All right, that's it for the month, folks. There's my contact details. Remember, a copy of the recording will be with you in the next Next couple of days if you'd like to stay in touch. Uh, the web address is thedigitalguide.com.au. Email info at thedigitalguide.com.au. My LinkedIn is forward slash Tracy Sheen and the Facebook is obviously Tracy the Digital Guide. Stay tuned if you're around uh, Australia today at two o'clock on Channel 7. I'll be doing my latest tech tip on Koshi's Business Builders. And if you are interested in the Small Business Tech Club, next month we have the wonderful Joe Brody, who is a Google Ads expert, coming to join us to talk about the changes in Google Ads, what you need to know, and how to set up your platform for success. So if you want to know anything about the Small Business Tech Club or any of the other webinars, workshops or free content that I offer, please drop me an email or connect with me on socials. And I look forward to seeing you all. One thing to let you know, next month's top 10 tech tips will actually be on the last Friday because I'll be out in the middle of the Western Downs of Queensland on the Thursday. So we're going for the final Friday of the month, same time though, 11.30, and you will get updates in your inbox to let you know ahead of time. Have a great October and I will see you at the back end for another Top 10 Detectives. Take care. See ya.